Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Brian Otto here, and I'm here today. I'm going to give you an updated version of my tutorial for BT7274. Uh, the tutorial I made before is we've basically made quite a few new optimizations, uh, enough that I felt like it warranted a new video. Also, I've gotten a lot better at the game <laughs> since my last video, um, and so I think it'll just be kind of good for me to revisit this and kind of give you guys my thoughts as they come to me on just all the little things you may or may not need to know about. BT7274. So, um, disclaimer: I am going to be using quick saves uh, to get through the kind of or quick saves to show you guys the levels over and over and over again. If you want to know how to do that, you can find a link to how to do that on the doc, and that's for PC players only. So, um, I have skipped the first initial cutscene in the slide hopping section. Um, for any of that stuff, you can just watch a record video or anything like that at a level. It's pretty easy to understand. What I want to talk about the bulk of the level, which comes after the cutscene. So, um, BT7274 is, uh, it's, it's an extremely difficult level. There's lots of weird geometry, lots of weird rocks and stuff you can knock, you can get knocked up on. You also start the, off the level, uh, with a single jump. You don't have a double jump, so that makes it pretty hard too. There's already, there's already something to talk about here on this first part of the level. So, um, what we're going to be doing is, uh, we're going to be coming over here. We're going to hold W and we're going to pick up the EVA 8 shotgun. Um, I like to hold W and then just kind of tap space so I can figure out when I get my sprint back. So we're going to come over here and pick up the shotgun. Uh, the shotgun is really important. We're going to be using it in about 30 seconds. Um, so the route to get over here can be kind of tricky. Um, there's lots of rocks and stuff you have to avoid. So I hold W here. And I'm going to want to just strafe to the right here. Or rather, jump to the right and then strafe to the left. And I want to like try and land right around here. I don't want to get caught up on any of these rocks or anything like that. And then again, I'm going to want to land about right here for my next jump and then land here to pick up the EVA. We just want to find, we, I want, you want to choose a path that is able to avoid all these rocks because you can and will mantle on these things. Uh, believe it or not, like it's, it's it's so easy to mantle on these rocks. It's really, really frustrating. So <clears throat> again, already so much to talk about just in the first few seconds of this level. You jump onto the wall right here. Coming around this corner, you're gonna to want to be careful. Um, you want to try and want to land kind of in this section as you strafe around. Uh, this rock here and this lance right here, they will slow down your speed or knock you off course, especially this one. This guy's pretty bad about it. Uh, you can you can kind of land a bit on top of it on the right. The hitbox is there's a little bit not hitbox, but the the uh, model actually or the, the ground actually extends out a little bit farther than you would think right there. So that's pretty good. And we'll just do this first section one more time. There we go. And see, I hit a bit, I hit like a rock there, so I did lose some of my speed. Coming through here, um, you can normally tell how good you did at the start of that part by just looking at when you get your uh, when you get your stealth. If your stealth kicks in, whoa, dude, the moves on this guy. If your stealth kicks in, like right when you get to about this rock, you're gonna be okay. Um, so for this section here, um, the. Oh wow, they actually don't let you go back there, TAO. Um, for this section here, it is, pr it is pretty important to try and stay in the middle. Again, there's lots of weird geometry, lots of things you can hit yourself on. So coming around here and avoiding all of these rocks with slants and stuff like that, super important. Then you come around here. So there's a few ways you can approach this little section right here. I see some people will kind of stay to the right. Sometimes they try and wall run here or wall run on this thing to get around it. Uh, what I like to do is I'll come over to the left or the left side of it, and then I look to the I look to the left so that way I don't trigger a mantle animation, and then um, I'll just do two quick jumps to get around it. So like that, and that normally is able to cancel out the mantle. That's how it goes with mantling in pretty much any situation. If you don't want a mantle, you just look to the look to the side of a ledge, and then jump forward. Uh, that skips this whole thing right here. So anyway. So, um, yeah, it's, again, it's up to you how you want to approach that. Okay. So, now for this section here. Um, the distance... What? Skillful Jackal, thanks for following. The distance between where you stand right here and this gap right there Wonderful. is is awkward, to say the very least. Um, so, what I, I actually set up a... My setup for this is I, I want to make sure I'm getting in at least three jumps between here and there. Uh, just because it's possible to come around here and you start a jump and it's jump, jump, and then, oh no, 
you're dead. So it's it's you you you. I purposefully extend the distance to get an optimal slide hop into the next section. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start my jump right here. I'm gonna jump again right here, and then one more time right there. So um, in one fluid motion, that looks like. Oh, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> it doesn't look like that. <laughs> All right. Militia intruders, this is General Marder of the Interstellar Manufacturing There you go. So that's that, that's what you want it to look like. Um, and again, you're purposely taking a longer route for safety, and this it is a bit faster, honestly, because you're starting your slide hop right when you get up here. So, um, yeah, right from there, <clears throat> if you do make any mistakes on this part, it's probably best just to to run it out and then like start a slide hop right there or something like that, because this is really such an awkward area. You wouldn't think this would be a problem area, but it, I've died here a lot actually, just because the distance is weird. Um, but so setting up for this wall jump or this wall run is pretty important. Uh, this is a pretty long gap, as you can see. And if you start from like all the way back here or something, you're going to have a bit of trouble making it over without mantling, as you can see. So, um, one more time. This looks like this. Yo, Fro uh, Mango, thank you for the $2 tip, buddy. Hi, YouTube. Just remember, sprinting is the fastest way to move. Time with loads is the best category. Minecraft is great. And our favorite velocity, Strider B O R Y N O D O R loves anime. Thanks, Mega. Wonderful. I appreciate that, dude. Okay, so this next section uh, is actually one of the reasons I um, wanted to update my video. So, if I can stop fucking dying. Um, it actually went through a little optimization, I want to say, not even a, a pro probably like a couple weeks ago, if even that. Uh, something I kind of. I routed out here. So you're going to start the wall jump here, um, and you're, you're, going to, you're going to have good strafes coming around here. So I'm going to strafe to the right, left, right, slide a little bit there. So that's new, actually. We used to we used to wall run here pretty much every single time, um, but you can actually, I mean, as you can see, you can it, you can actually just slide across the whole area. Obviously, I mantled there, but it's pretty. It's a pretty sick new little. It's a pretty sick new little route. Um, it it's pretty hard, honestly, so you're going to want to practice it. It saves about like a little, just shy of a second. And again, this is where another, like the rocks and everything comes into play with BT. You're gonna, you have to jump in such an area where you're not hitting like this. You're not hitting these bumps here. You're not hitting this bump here. And oftentimes you're going to find, you're going to want to slide just a little bit before jumping. Just to make sure you get the maximum distance there, because it is very possible to... Uh, to mantle on that other side of the rock there and you would lose all your speed. So this is the optimal route as of this video for this part. Now you can see I slid for too long there, I lost my speed. That's an example of what not to do. That's what's great about these videos is you get to see what it looks like when you mess up. You're not just seeing what it looks like when you get it right. There you go. So you can so you can see I, I jumped at like the very edge of uh this cliff this cliff side here and it allowed me to make the jump all the way. Hey Tasky, how you doing dude? Oh see, I knew I was gonna mess up there. I didn't have the distance right. Wonderful. Thank you for the follow man. Anyway, so that's so that's the new optimization for that. You get to skip the wall jump, it's or uh, the wall run, it's pretty it's pretty slick. I like that run a lot. Um, coming across here. Oh, oh! I guess one more thing I should talk about for this route um, is that uh, it is possible to take the route on, that goes on the inside of the bush. I'm probably not going to get it first try, um, but this is like a way you can take it if you want to. It's just it's way it's way harder. I wonder where this, this test is going to put me actually. Yeah, it's way harder than than uh, going around the outside. But it is possible. It just kind of depends on how comfortable you are with your uh, mechanical abilities and whether or not you want to attempt something like that. The time difference between going around and going on the inside is marginal, but the inside route is faster. So anyway, uh, coming across here, I see a lot of runners. They like to go around this little rock face here. Um, I'm not sure why. It's 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 a lot. It's, it is faster just to cut through this bush here, and it's there's no real risk of mantling or anything here, even though these rocks look big. I I, I pretty much never mantle here. So, um, yeah, we're going to come through here. Now, coming up here, uh, this is one of the first big shortcuts of the game. 
Um, you'll see there's kind of the, the, the circular room here. Um, we're gonna come up here. I like to set up on this rock here. We're gonna wall jump, or uh, we're gonna jump wall run and then just kind of mantle our way up here. Uh, this section is really tricky. It's really easy to get yourself wedged in that little nook right there. And the game will read you as crouching even when you're not holding crouch. So you have to be really careful with this. So I just kind of like mass jump and then wait till I get to the wall. Uh, it That looked simple, but you're, you're gonna wanna... Thank you for the $2 tip, Mango. I forgot in my last <laughs> donation. You also need to know that the terminology of speedrunner is outdated. It's now called a Velocity Strider, and this guy's name is actually B Y R O N O T A H. And always remember, quick saves are for chumps. Thank you, Mango. I appreciate the support, dude. All right, so um, yeah, so coming up here, uh. Basically, I just mash jump, honestly. That's that's my best advice for this. Um, for newer runners, you probably just want to mantle all the way up here, um, and then you can go from there. But I, if you get good at it, you can just come right here and then just kind of, whoops. Okay. You can come up here and then just kind of like, kind of get yourself into the corner and then immediately start your wall run. So, come over here. Um, there's, there's a few different ways you can approach this. It's okay if you mantle here because you have pretty quick recovery and that you can just start wall running again. Be careful of this little rock right there. It's easy to bump your head on that. And you gotta be careful of this guy on the right. It's pretty easy to bump yourself on that. So, um, done properly, it should look something like this. There you go. And so when you come around here, you're gonna be having your strafe going to the right. Um, you're gonna want to pop this guy in the head once, just because it's it, it is easy for, it is easy to hit yourself on him. So um, I think I'll set up a quick save here at the bottom, just so I don't have to do this anymore. Okay, so come over here, straight to the right, pop the guy in the head, or he just missed. That's fine. <laughs> you could totally miss too. I mean, it's just basically you shoot him, so it's like a safety strap for uh, for not hitting him. There we go. If you mantle here, it's fine. And also what shooting does, is it causes this guy, this grunt right here, it causes him to run from a- hold on, let me kill this guy. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Dude, where are you even shooting at me? Okay, so, when you shoot right there, it causes this guy that's standing here to run out toward the sound of danger. And so basically, it, it, comes, it becomes a lot easier to shoot him. You're gonna wanna one-shot this guy to maintain a constant slide hop all the way through here. Um, it becomes a lot easier to shoot this guy, once he's like about right here versus back when he's Ooh, near the exit careful. there. So, um, yeah, again, it's pretty, pretty, pretty handy little thing that not a lot of people might know. Um, you might have already been doing it anyway, but in any case, uh, yeah, shooting right here does avoid that. So now he's going to come running out or maybe not. Anyway, <sighs> I love when I'm trying to show people stuff and like, it doesn't work. That's my favorite. So anyway, um, so after you come around this corner, you're going to be encountering one of the toughest sections in the entire level. This is called Death River um, for quite a few reasons. Uh, I'll just kind of give you guys a walkthrough real quick. We'll, we'll do a quick save up here. I'll kind of give you guys a walkthrough of why this is so tough. Um, as you can already see, there's like grunts and there's geometry and there's weird stuff like everywhere. Um, lots of stuff to get caught up on. The main route we're going to be using, which is this wall, is covered in rocks. There's grunts everywhere, you're getting shot at. Um, and then there's a bunch of plants, there's a bunch of rocks. There's just, there's just, everything is everything that could be in your way is in your way. Um, and so these two plants here, we're gonna be aiming for the middle of these two. So, hey, thanks for the host for giving. So, um, the proper route for this, it might take me a couple tries, it does look something like this. Okay, so there we go. That's that's how it that's how it looks when done properly. So the trick for this is um, when you come, when you're doing this in a run, you're going to be maintaining a full slide hop. Maybe not sometimes, but in any case, if or you could just sprint off here. You're going to want to strike to the left and then immediately grab the wall, like as soon as you can off, off, off of a slide hop. If you just run up to the wall here and jump, you're going to find that you're going to hit your head. Um, Jumping when your when your character is in a crouch and in crouch position does obviously it, it shoots you up less far, um, so it does be, it is a lot easier to not hit your head. 
when you jump from a slide hop position versus jumping from a sprint position. So. Anyway, so um, it is possible for that grunt to run in your way. You're just gonna have to be careful. Um, keep keep an eye out. You know, make sure to shoot him if he gets in your way. It, it can be pretty difficult. If you bump your head right here, the recovery route. If you bump your head for this, is you're gonna want over to the side of this rock. And you can wall run straight from here. So you wall run here. Whoops. So you wall run here, and then you got the recovery route from there. Um, I kind of messed it up, obviously, but now that frag's gonna mess me up. I'm gonna wait for that to explode. Anyway, so that's the recovery route there. Um, you're gonna notice that when I'm jumping across the river, I'm aiming for this little bar right here. Um, it's pretty easy to hop on top of this and not mantle. It's also a pretty safe spot because there's no plants or anything like that. So it's a it's a uh, good thing to aim for. Um, if you mess up the wall, if you mess, if you hit your head there and you mess up this wall run, you're probably just gonna come over here, and melee this run, and then just start to keep the slide hop right through this bush, and that'll get you through there. Pretty much every time. Whoops. There we go. So I messed up. So I come over here. Wall run on here. That guy's in my way. I messed up the slide hop. So my final recovery is this. I actually didn't give him my slide. But anyway, that's what you would do there. Whoops. Oh, wow. I'm messing that up a lot now. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just start from back here. There we go. This should be good. Alright, so as soon as we get right here, as soon as we get right here, we're going to jump off this beam. There will sometimes be a group of grunts that are all running up through here. I think that's some of them right there. I like to kind of stick to the right side. I hope you guys can hear me over the gunshots. I know there's a lot of gunshots right now. Yeah, so um, I like to stick to the right side, and uh, you can normally jump across the grunts. You can shoot him if you have to. So um, if you do mess up your slide hop, though, it's pretty easy to recover. You can actually wall run on this uh, crate here, and then wall run on that slide of piece of debris. And that will normally get you over all of the grunts, and uh, save your route, and you can save your speed. So if you mess up your slide hop at any point, uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of parts of, you know, you can say this is speedrunning and pretty much, or you can say this about pretty much all speedrunning, but one of the biggest parts of this game is knowing what to do, it's knowing how to recover when you mess up to get back to full speed as fast as possible. And so um, that's why I'm spending so much time talking about these recovery routes. So anyway, hey, Snipster, how are you? So I get, we'll come down here. I wonder where my last checkpoint is, actually. I wonder if I could just start from there. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. So let's come down here. Funny hop back and forth. Um, so this wall, pretty much one one optimal route through here. There's previously been routes where uh, we could actually slide hop from here to here, but in the long haul, it doesn't save time. So um, when when the wall is curved, you can jump on it twice. So we're gonna come here, jump here, and then strafe around the corner. Pretty much the most foolproof way for getting around there. Pretty simple, not a lot to talk about there. You're gonna want to be careful coming around this quarter though, because uh, again, there's a lot of rocks. Um, I'm gonna, I like to aim for about right here. This is where I want to be jumping from. And sometimes, if you're careful, you can actually get another slide hop off of here. Yeah, pretty much, Mizzen. I like to shoot this guy in the face, just so he doesn't get in my way. Um, it's so difficult talking with all the gunshots, it's, it really breaks my train of thought. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me over that. So anyway, um, you're going to be careful of this rock right here. It is easy to get caught on it, so you're going to probably want to try and get around it. So for this next section right here, you wouldn't think this would be like a, a frustrating part, but this uh, this rock right in front of me here, 
I alt tab, so you're actually going to be able to look at a pause here. Turn your game volume down. That's a good idea. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't think of that till now. Um, hold on. I think there was an explosion right in front of me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this section right in front of me here, uh, all these rocks that you're seeing, you can like mantle on all of those. So what I've been doing in my runs now is uh, I actually will just stop slide hopping and then just wall run on this wall to the right of me here. So um, done in one motion, it'll look something like this. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Whoops. Did it load last or did I? Oh, okay. I guess it's my last checkpoint. All right. That drone's in a weird spot. So I stop running, or I stop slide hopping, and I immediately go to the wall run here, and we're good. So um, we'll do that one more time. It's actually just gonna cloak through here. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should not have cloaked through there. So um. <clears throat> Coming up next, this next section up here is. <coughs> sorry, something went down the wrong tube there. It's going to be called a Prowler Pad. So, Prowler Pad can be a pretty frustrating spot. Let's do a quick save here. So, coming up right here, you're going to want to cloak. And uh, you're going to be wanting jumping. You're going to. Man, I can't, I can't get a, I'm just going to turn my game volume way the fuck down. This is really getting to me. I can't concentrate. Alright, so, um. You're free. So you're going to want to be trying to jump, like, right here. And then, uh, depending on what this other Prowler does over here, you're going to have to be kind of careful. He can sometimes run underneath you, and you might, like, skate on top of him. Um, so I'm always trying to aim for, like, this left little grassy section here. So, aim for the spot here, aim for the grassy section, and then we're off. Um, this section, you finally get your double jump back, so that's pretty nice. It is possible just to use this wall run over here, but it's like a super outdated route, and it's slower, and I don't recommend you do it. Please do not do it, if you are a modern runner of this game. So, um, yeah, you're going to be landing here, land on the grassy part, you'll have your double jump, we can continue on. Oh, I put my checkpoint here. Okay. There we go. You should also attempt to wall kick here if possible. You can actually wall kick your way through this entire section. It's pretty sick. Anyway. Alright. So. Yeah, like I said, you can actually wall kick your way through this entire section, starting right here. Kick, 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 kick. And you got, you got to be careful. Uh, the game does read, the, the game doesn't read this as like a smooth wall. You will sometimes get bumped on like these little things sticking out of the crates here or this thing over here. But if you are able to chain your four wall kicks together, it, it's actually a pretty significant time save over not doing it. Um, in any case, this is a pretty straightforward section. You gotta look out for the drones, you do have to shoot them. So, I'm not sure if the devs intended this or not, but... The game, normally you would think you would run through here, you can actually just turn around and run down here. Uh, this barrel pretty easy to get around. Um, if it's in your way to shoot it or you can run into it. Um, coming up here, this is called... This is called the super slide, if you can get it. It looks difficult. It looks easy, but being able to slide through here, not easy at all. Um, what I've been doing now is uh, I'll I'll try and slide about like right at this right at like that battery there, the corner of it, and then I will uh, I'll actually like hold hold A or hold left while I'm sliding through here. And I usually get the, I get the slide like fairly consistently now, aiming like that. But it's it's really easy just to to bump to bump really anything on here and, and fuck up your slide. So, um, yeah, pretty straightforward section, but anyway, the super slide. So this next route coming up here is another reason that I am remaking this video. 
You're going to run up to the top of this ramp here and just hit crouch to slide. So this section has has like a brand new route for it. So we'll come down here. Um, for whatever reason, similar to Rock Boost on Effect and Cause Chapter 1, if you hit this slope at a certain angle, um, I think I'm going to turn the game volume back up now. Whoop. If you hit this, if you hit the slope at a certain angle, um, you'll actually get a pretty significant speed boost. Whether or not that requires you to be strafing, I am not sure. But usually from right here, I'll strafe down and then strafe to the left. Whoops! Actually, I should. I, you know what? Before I get a checkpoint anywhere else, I should put a quick save here too. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to be trying to. Uh, I'm going to be getting a pretty significant slide hop here, or slide boost rather. There we go. So that's a pretty, that's a that's a very new route and a, it's a pretty new optimization, um, and it's there's there's a lot of kind of uh, there's a lot of little things that go into it. So you're going to be strafing down to the right and then down to the left. Um, if you go, if you hit the ledge like too far up, you won't get any boost like right here. So it seems like the sweet spot for it is it's somewhere around here. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know the specifics of it. And as soon as you do your jump, you're also going to find that your double jump has been consumed. Um, I don't know why. But from here, then you will take the boost and continue it on top of that little um, on top of that little turbine thing, the engine, whatever you want to call that. So you'll jump off of there, and you're going to do a huge strafe all the way down to this section. Um, as, as you if you jump off of any part of here, you should be okay. Jump off here, strafe, strafe again. So this is going to be a section you're going to want to devote a lot of practice to. It is a pretty decent chunky time save if you get it. Um, and there's so much going on here, it is kind of easier for you. To, it is kind of easier for me to explain it to you just by example. Um, especially this jump. This jump across the river here is like pretty tough. Um, you don't have to land and get a slide hop going right there. Um, if you if you just manage, can I wall run here? Wait, well, it's not going to let me, is it? That's annoying. Um, if you do just manage to, it's okay to like mantle here. Basically, is what, is what I'm trying to say through a million different words. So, whoa! I think I, I think I hit the I think I hit the prowler there. So, it is okay to hit the side of the wall. You don't lose that much time doing it. Like this, like let's say I purposely go too low. This is totally fine to do that. As you can see, you still maintain a lot of speed coming in. All right. Now, as soon, when you're about halfway across the river, um, this is going to be a lot of inputs all at once between the strafing and everything else. But you're going to want to pull a grenade as well. Pull a grenade and activate your cloak. Pretty much all in one. All, it's a lot of inputs at once, but it, all in one motion, it's done really well. So, cloak, grenade. There you go. Um, when you just start cooking your grenade, like pretty much right when you land, it, it guarantees that uh, you get that perfectly timed nade for the for the grunts here. Wonderful. And with this grenade. You're gonna to want to be aiming for the. There's like a rock that's in between the three grunts. Some of these guys can just be just put on like a black jacket and live everything. I don't really know why, but um. Whoops. Oh god. All right. So um, yeah, you want to aim for this rock right here. If you if you can kind of net your your nest your grenade like kind of right in this little nook, it it pretty much kills all three of them all the time. Tron, I, I appreciate you keeping up with the follows. Uh, that, that means a lot. Thanks, dude. If you don't get that slide, um, it's okay just to double jump over this thing. You're going to want to land right here. Can this guy get to me, I wonder? Oh, look, he's so mad. He doesn't know what to do. Um, you, can, you land on this section of the wall. You can just strafe all the way around. Get the wall run. Do the route the old way. 
So it, and that and that's totally it's totally fine to do it that way. It's not that much slower. I see it. I fucked that up there. So we're just gonna do it like this. Aim for that part of the rock. We got all three of them. So that's the that's the new slide. All right. So I covered this in my last video, but this is River Jump. I'm going to talk about it a bit, uh, a bit more extensively here. There's there's two different ways to set this up. Let me quick save right here. Actually, there's two different ways to set this up. So you can the, the slower and easier ways you can just jump up here, jump for about right here. So that's one way to do it. The faster way to set it up is uh like this. My systems are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. I will and then it is noticeably here. faster. Um, so there's a lot that's actually going into this jump. So uh, My systems are rebooting. You're going to want to be aiming to get your slide hop pretty much right off this section of the this section of the the stippery, um, and you're going to want to be aiming for about you don't want to go if you aim too far to the left you'll fall down if you aim too far to the right you'll fall down you want to aim kind of like this this middle section right here kind of thanks BT um, kind of like in between these two in between the shadows rather that that kind of lighted section is where you want to be aiming and once you get over there you're just going to be a mashing jump um to get across the river there is you do have to be strafing um i don't know that's possible to get it without strafing i i actually haven't tried let me let me actually figure it out right now My i mean you should always be strafing but a third battery will accelerate the process okay so if you don't strafe yeah it's gonna be you're gonna have a really hard time getting it in any case my systems are rebooting. Um, the fast setup is, is a bit difficult. It, it's if you jump too high, it's pretty easy to mantle on this thing, and then it kind of can mess up your whole rhythm. Um, so for this jump, you want to aim a bit more to the right than you think you need to for this platform. Thanks, BT. I know. Shut up. I finally caught you live. Really love your tutorials. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, dude. Welcome to the street, Red Metallic. My systems so. are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. And for the corner, strafe right, or strafe left and right, and then just mash the jump up. Um, sometimes you'll be able to carry your jump all the way up here. Um, actually, before I before I get too ahead of myself, let me cover the the, the easy setup one more time. Um, My systems are rebooting, you're going to want to jump from like about this corner, will and then just the I will do a strafe here. to set it up, land right there, and then jump pretty much at the corner. It's pretty much like corner to corner. So you start right here, jump, strafe. There we go, and we got it. So anyway, as I was saying, sometimes you can carry your jumps all the way up this invisible staircase. A lot of times though, you'll find you'll get cut up on rocks or something like that. So the easiest way to recover from this is just come over to this section of debris here, start a wall run, and you're golden. Um, not a lot to say there. You continue on to the next section. Do a quick save here. So this next section you can take it a few different ways. The fastest way and one of my favorite jumps in the whole game is uh, we're going to be using an edge boost on this section of the rock right here. Um, and we're going to combine that with strafing to basically be able to jump across that whole gap without using any, without hitting the wall at all. So let me see if I can get this first try here. Yeah, there we go. So that's actually pretty, pretty nifty little jump. Um, it, it, so the, the trick to this is you want to edge boost right here. You want to get some big strafes in. Strafe, strafe. You want to jump off. You, you, you're pretty. You have a pretty high chance of getting it if you jump off like this, the very edge of the rock here. Um, if you don't think, if you if you even have the slightest doubt that you're not going to get it, just go for the wall. It's not that much slower. But when you do get it, it is a nice little optimization that I mean again adds up in the end as far as time save. And uh, it's, it, it looks like you might, you would like hit yourself on the little rocks here, but it, you won't lose any speed. Um, if you don't get it, again, totally fine. Yeah, nifty, dude. I, I, I love that jump a lot, actually. If you don't think you're going to get it, you're like, oh, I landed too short. Then you just come over here, you do a wall kick. Strafe around, you're fine. No drink, because I'm a... Uh... My voice is cracking. Okay. So, now... 
coming up as one of the most, uh, another one of those really difficult sections in this run to do optimally. So, coming down here, we have a bunch of walls. Um, the time save here, if you if you can chain your wall kicks together, is is immense. It's huge. Uh, all of the, if you look at my latest BT world record, the 12-14 BT, I get this section pretty nicely. If you're able to chain wall kicks together all through here, you can actually do a huge jump at the end of it that... It's, it's such a huge time save. Uh, getting wall kicks here can be so important. This is actually one of the areas where you can save and lose the most amount of time in here. So, um... Let me find a proper way to set this up. So, I think I'll do a, I think I'll do a quick save right here so I can just get the speed from the wall run. Actually, you know what? That's not a good idea. I'll just start from right here. Ah, uh, okay, so I messed it up, but I might still be able to get it. I don't think so. Oh, almost, almost. Okay, so you can see the jump I was going for. If you were able to uh, string enough wall kicks together and build up enough speed, um, you can actually chain that jump from there all the way over to here. It's 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 huge. It's like it's it's such a big it's such a big time save if you're able to get it. Um, you got to be really careful in this section. Always make sure you have your Eva reloaded, so that way you can pop these guys. If you jump too far down here, on that wall, you will hit your head. You will hit your head on that piece of rock right there. So you're going to want to be aiming to jump right there, and as well, coming off of this jump. If you go too far down this wall, Cooper actually won't grab the wall like right here. It's super frustrating. Like, there's obviously a wall here, but Cooper just won't grab it, because... He's a little bitch. So you want to be aiming for about like right here. After that, he just stops grabbing the wall. So that's always fun. Whoops. So you don't have to hit the wall kicks on that first part, but once you get about right here, it gets really important. Pilot, my mapping systems have been restored. The ambush of the ninth militia fleet has landed us far off course from our original destination. There we go. Oh man, that's so satisfying getting that. Dude, uh, I love running this game. <laughs> All right, sorry, I've got a little ahead of myself there. So, Wonderful. that's how that looks when you get it done correctly. Um, let me talk about the, that section at the end real quick. So let me just get over here. Oh, wow, that guy's a champ. All right, so if you hit that last wall kick and you have that amount of speed, you can actually just, you can just clear, shut the fuck up, PT. So you can actually just clear this entire rock here and then get to this one. Once you get right here, to, to get the proper amount of height, you're going to want to do like a jump and then another quick jump. So a really quick double jump just to get the height you need to clear that entire gap. Um, so let's say you get to this point and you didn't get the wall kicks. That's fine. That jump I just did is it's extremely difficult. I get it maybe one in every ten runs. Um, so, um, so for this route here, you have a few different options you can take. So the the, ma the main one is going to be a tree hop. Or it's going to be the fastest one. So that's a pretty nice little looking route too. Uh, tree hop is a bit difficult because uh, that tree. It's not very clear where you can and can't jump. Um, I'm going to tell you right now. The you're basically you're going to be wanting land. You're going to be wanting to land on this branch right here. I mean, you can see this kind of where I'm where I'm standing on the tree. It's on the far right side. If you go any farther to the left, it just like it, there's nothing there. So the tree hop can be a pretty can be a pretty frustrating trick. But uh, you just kind of you you, you just kind of have to learn where to land. Um, and so for this wall jump, this wall jump also has a lot to say about it too. Um, you can see like there's a bunch of ro there's a bunch of rocks that are overhanging here. You're gonna want to try and stay as low on the wall as possible because it makes it easier to set up for tree hop. And also, uh, you have the least amount of chance of bonking your head like like from right here or something like that. I guess I didn't bonk my head, but um, you can see how finicky uh, landing on the tree is right there. I mantled, and the one before this, I just barely overshot it. So the, the tree hop is just, is, it's a tricky trick. 
Um, if you don't get tree hop, your last resort, whoops, your last resort would be uh, just doing it the old way, which is to come over here, air strafe around the corner, air strafe around the corner. So, um, so now this next part, uh, this next section is called encampment. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to start my route pretty much every time from right here. This route I'm about to show you, uh, I know on console, whoops, I know on console is one of the most difficult routes uh, for this level. Um, you come over here, you're going to land, you're going to want to aim for about like this little section right here. You're going to want to aim for this section right here and then as soon as you hit it, uh, we're going to jump over to this part right here. It's a small little optimization that saves about a second. Um, and so you want to aim for this plant right here. Let me see if I can get back over there. Okay, cool. So you're going to want to aim for about that plant right there, or just to the right of it. But in any case, you're gonna, your path is going to want to be pretty much like straight across right here. Or if you land to the right, make sure you go back to the left. Because in this area over here, there's a ton of plants and rocks and stuff like that. And you can see I'm just kind of bumping into everything as I'm walking around. So you want to jump to the plant and then jump pretty much straight through here. Um, it's, it's pretty tough. There we go. So once you get right here, oh, and if you if you if you're not comfortable doing this, you come over here to the zip line. This is a super outdated route. You come over the zip line, jump, jump, and continue on from there. Don't use the zip line. Learn this route, please. So, um, hey, tree hop. Right to the, I am to the right of the plant and then back to the left. So once you get right here, um, you're going to want to cloak pretty much right as you're about coming around the corner. Wonderful. You're going to try and time your double jump so that you kind of kiss the section of debris right there and they're able to chain that into another wall jump. You know, oops, I bonked my head there. Oh, that's another thing I should talk about for this section. So you have to be careful about the height that you were taking going around this corner. Because as you can see, it is actually extremely possible to hit your head and have it like bump you off. Um, so you don't you don't need like full speed to do this jump. You can actually even just be sprinting here and then do like a little double jump and make it across. So we're going to come through here. Activate our cloak as we come around the corner because that turret will shoot at us. Kiss the debris, and we're through. So, um, that's encampment. All right. So one more time. Coming through here, you're gonna want to shoot this guy in the face, just because he tends to get in your way and he's really annoying. Hey Ninja Kid, who are you? Alright, one last time. And we'll be done. It's just super important to see this route done a bunch of different ways. Even if they even if they're done subtly different. Just to understand all the different ways to go through here. Pop that guy. Come around the corner. Alright. Now we're to one of the final sections of the level here. So um, for climbing up here, what I like to do is uh I like to jump to this wall, jump to that wall, and then hop through. And if you're able to do that, you can actually chain it into a slide hop like you just saw. Where, oh, there we go. Okay, so... And yeah, if it's done properly, you can chain it into a slide hop. So that's pretty nice. Just It's, it's these little optimizations that have made this level so much faster. I think last time I did a tutorial for this, my best my best time on here was like a 1640, and now my best time on this level is like a it's like a 1610. So there you go. You can just chain that into a slide top. Pretty nice. This next section, um, this section right here is important to me to explain it because, as far as I know, I'm the only person that does this, and I'd really like to see other runners pick it up, even though it's difficult. So this beam will get in your way, but there's actually a little small optimization you can do here that, that's that's pretty neat. Um, I wonder, I'm not sure if I can get it now that the... 
now that the, the what it's called the ship is shook but in any case let's see if we can do it from here so you're gonna want to aim for about right here ah it's so difficult okay so if you're able to get it that's <laughs> I've have I've been having trouble with this lately too Wonderful. Oh, that's too bad. I might not be able to get it for the video. So the trick is you want to jump up here. There we go. It's it's about four jumps in pretty quick succession. So you, you land here, probably on this section of the wall. You take your momentum forward going into the room, and then you just strafe around the corner, and you can you can start a slide hop from that immediately. It's the smallest optimization, but it does make all the difference. Um, I think the trick of, to it is starting kind of is where your starting position is. If you're like down here on the floor, you're not going to have as much height coming up to it, but um. Yeah, so you want to jump from about right here. You're going to want to aim for about this section of the wall. And then just strafe into the room. Whoops. We'll try that one more time. This is good practice for me, too. There we go. So you can just immediately continue a slide hop into here. You slide hop around the corner. Um, when I, so what I like to do for this section is uh, if I come around the corner and I'm, go and I'm coming in a bit too hot... It's totally fine just to reposition yourself with a sprint, or with a reposition yourself with a sprint, and then slide in the rest of the way. Pretty much anywhere that you slide in this room, because it's angled down, it'll give you a slide boost. So um, there's no real like slide timer in this room, which is nice. So coming in here, um, I think the fastest way up is you wall run, wall run, wall run, and then double jump. I'm just kind of in a, like a circular motion there. You can also come up here, and that works too. But I personally like to do the, uh, I like to do, I like to take the circle. Not a lot to talk about here. You hold W, you hold forward and you just mash the shit out of your jump button. And sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. That's pretty straightforward. All right, coming down here, as soon as you jump into this room, um, you're going to want to do a slide. And just slide hop over here. Again, small optimization. Saves all, you know, saves a saves a little bit of time. That adds up. A slide hop as soon as you get into the room. Don't don't sprint over here. And then do that. If I'm watching your stream and you do that, I'm gonna call you out on it. So you just do slide hop. You got the battery. All right. So this last section. Um. It's difficult, to say the least. I'll put a quick save here. So you're gonna wanna come out, uh, come off from this rail and strafe to the left. We're gonna wanna get a perfect slide right here. There we go. This is such a big time save over not getting this. Pilot, our location has been compromised. Anyway, so let's talk a bit about this route. So I'm gonna be strafing down to the left and I'm going to strafe back to the right, and, and uh, I'm going to wait till I, till Cooper hits the ground. And as soon as he hits the ground, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use my jump, right there. So you can even make this jump even if you don't get the perfect slide, as you can see. There we go. One more time. Wonderful. Strafe, strafe. Got to be careful not to hit your head right there. Wonderful. Thank you for all the follows, guys. Alright, that's how it looks done properly. One more time. Um, so we're going to strafe to the left. Strafe to the right. Wait till we hit the ground. Jump. Jump. Careful not to hit our head. Strafe to the left. Strafe to the right. Coming through here, there's a ton of stuff that can go wrong. It's so easy to mantle on any of this stuff. You're going to want to grind through here to figure out which route is best. I like to try and land on this pad. And I land right in front of these rocks, double jump over them. You can mantle right here too, naturally. You just run all the way through. So when you're coming down here, you're going to want to start cooking cooking a grenade so that you release it pretty much right as you get to the... right as you get to BT. So you can time it with these, uh, with these specters. As you can see, I got a pretty bad slide, but I'm still able to Pilot, chain that through through air strafing. So as soon as you throw the grenade, you cook the next one. As you can see, I didn't cook that one for, or I cooked that one for too long. Um, an optimal, the, clearing this optimally is just getting these frags down correctly. 
So do some more time. Whoa! Super bounce over here. Pilot, our location has been compromised. Whoops. Okay. Um. Is it going to be the death wall? No, it's not. Okay, there is actually a death wall next to the shore there. All right. Perfect. There we go. So that guy always comes up at that part of the wall. Um, if you're fast enough, you can pretty, you can catch him as soon as he comes up. All right. And so that is BT seven two seven four. Um, there is a big, there is a bit of a cutscene. You have to, you have to install the battery and sit through this cutscene. Um, for how to do that, I would recommend just watch through, just look at one of my record videos. Look at that. Uh, that's the most optimal route through there. And for the brute fight, um, I, I mainly wanted to talk about just the bulk of the level, which is all the ins and outs of the movement. So that is BT seven two seven four. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All right, well, that took forever. So...